TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy, November, part, part one, part uno, because we're what we're going to do here is we're going to get out of the deck of uno cards and we're going to play uno for your delight here. No, absolutely not. But this guy is going to Kansas City to see the Swifties, so we're not going to have him next week, and then I'm going to be recording with Slay J next week, so we're going to cover a little bit more stuff. Some of the same stuff, but mostly different stuff. So you get a good variety, and then some stuff's going to coincide as well. But we're going, what we're going to be covering this podcast is going to be Gen V... Doom Patrol Season 4, Part 2, the uh, Attack on Titan, the finale, and just in general the full review, because this guy has a wonderful review, and I love it. Uh, the Marvels, we're going to go more in-depth. Of course, we have our reviews out there, but we're going to go more in-depth on this one. Uh, Loki Season 2, going to be more in-depth than my little quick uh, TikToks, which I still have one more left, but it'll be out before this is out for sure. Uh, and then let's cover Loki season two because that finished and you binged it. Yeah. And people, some people may have see, seen my TikTok. So let's hear from you what you think of it. Um, mixed feelings. Yeah. Like, um, a lot of it, a lot of it I really liked, but I felt like the ending was kind of, kind of cheap and cut short. Like it's a good ending for the character, but at the same time you're like, Okay, but you still didn't resolve the issue, really. Well, I don't think you see the effects of him resolving the issue, and that's kind yeah. of the problem, right? I feel like this isn't the end. I feel like they left this as almost a cliffhanger ending for another season. Because even with Ravana, she got pruned, and now she's on that pruned planet or, yeah. or dimension or whatever. So I think she's going to... Go. She's either going to go after he who remains, or she's going to go after Loki, who has done this because it was it was Loki that pruned her, right? Um, so I feel like this isn't over. I feel like he who remains is going to end up going after Loki because Loki is essentially. Well, here's the thing: is this show, this season was weird because it wasn't like the first season where, like, when he's in the TVA, he's he can't use his powers. And so in the first season, he's not in the T like every time he's not in the TVA, he can use his powers. So you see him use his powers. In this one, it's mostly in the TVA, so you don't see him use his powers most of the time. Until they cut it off. Until they until they cut it off. But there is this thing going on in this show, I feel like consistently, where one episode is set up, the next one is like it's it's like a one-two punch. Like, they just kept on doing one-two punches each time. And then, yeah, the ending is somewhat over underwhelming, but it also, it feels like too much of a cliffhanger and set up for the next season instead of like, hey, let's make it, it was epic, but not epic enough, where you're like, it's almost up to your interpretation, and then they'll explain it next season of, like, what he's doing. They say, oh, he's saving us, and, like, that's what he's, so he saved the multiverse, like, all the strands. And that's yeah. why I say, like, I say that Ravana and or He Who Remains is going to come after him and be like, no, like we're going to fight you about this because we don't want this to be happening. What I think would have been a better way to do it was, or maybe explain it better, you know, Loki has always wanted the throne and he finally did not want the throne mm -hmm. and took it grudgingly. Like... With the way things are right now, Thor is not really an all-father still. He's right. just kind of doing his thing. Mm -hmm. It would have been cooler if Loki had to take the all-father like, position to be able to manage the multiverse and increase his power. And since he is still an adopted son of Odin... It's his birthright, so it would have been cool if they could have, like, maybe put that into it yeah. to bring it back to explain why he's able to do it. Because that would have been a lot cooler and made more sense on how the issue's fixed. Mm -hmm. Because if you say, oh, he's taking Odin's mantle, makes perfect sense because Odin kind of already does that in the mythology. Right. So... He, 
So for him doing that, and maybe even like what would have been probably the best thing to do to, if they wanted to do that route was have Heimdall show up to help him or something. Yeah. Or, well, he's dead. That's right. I think like almost all of them are dead. So, yeah, I just feel like, yeah, it's kind yeah. of left to interpretation. It was cool and visually it looked awesome and it was interesting. And I love like the Groundhog Day finale style finale and and i love the theme of him being like it comes down to him right because he keep on being like no it's you no you can do it right like first it's mobius that does it yeah. then it's then it's um timely that does it and it's like no dude it has to be you like you need to step up bro like that's it's time for you this is your moment and you you're scared and finally he accepted that and that was cool i just feel like the pacing was a little weird because like it kept on having like these climaxes and then dives, and it was just a weird pacing thing. And I feel like the Marvel shows have been doing, or not Marvel, just to the Disney shows. Period, have been having this weird pacing because when they do a climax early like that, you have to top it. So if you can't top it, then it's not going to be better, right? Yeah. Like, and that's what's, and and similar with this finale, like the moment was cool, but the overall brevity of it wasn't the same level of when it just blew up, right? Like, when it just blew up and you're like, oh, my God, it's over. Like, that was bigger than that moment, and it shouldn't have been. Like, so, that, I, but overall, it was really solid. Like, I can't give it, like, a 10.0. I, I mean, we don't do that, but I'm just saying, like, you know, numbers-wise, like, I can't put it too high. It's not a perfect show. It's not, you know, close to perfect. It had its minor issues. I, I, I love the characters. And I, th and I definitely think there's going to be more. I, I think there's going to be a third season. I think that's going to bring in more of, like, he who remains, like, bringing the fight to him. Or Ravana bringing the fight to him. Or both. We'll see. I don't know. And, and then maybe even, like, some more missed minutes. I'm not sure because it seems like they kind of corrected that, fixed it. We'll see. But I, I this is definitely not over. I'm pretty sure it's not over. And I'm scared, too, because I go, like, I've heard rumors that they're not going to do the king and that... That sounds real. That's really disappointing to me. Like you already put in all this work, just follow through. Even if you're gonna do it with a different actor, don't just change it to a different character. Don't change it to Doom or don't change it to the High Evolutionary or whatever. Like don't cop out. You're copping out is what you do if yeah. you do that. Don't do that. You, so they might as well do something. But the, if they if I they want to do my, that, they're better off re just recasting. I think my issue with the whole Kang thing overall is. They need to, if you're, they're going to do Kang, they really need to connect it more. Yeah. Like, they're trying to sort of connect it, but not really. Right. Why, why didn't they throw something into the Marvels? Why didn't they connect it in the Marvels? You know what I mean? Like, they need to be having it. Like, where Thanos. Thanos was, Thanos was a threat in, like, almost every movie in one way or another, even if it was one of his underlings, right? And so, ev in the right, background. everything led to Thanos, and every villain, sh or or there should be something where everything leads to Thanos. Like, this villain in the Marvels, she was good, and you understood her, and you, you understood her side. She wasn't going about it the correct way, but she, she had nothing to do with that, and it would have been cool if he was part of that, to be like, hey, I, I'm going to put you in this place to set up these dominoes, right? Or something. Um... And they didn't do that, but yeah. So, what grade would you give Loki? Um, I wouldn't give it a must stream, but I'd give it a stream. Yeah, solid it's stream. It's definitely a solid stream for yeah. sure. Definitely a solid stream. 